right, guys, we only got the first warmouth of the day. It's a small guy. He's about six inches. You need, it's a bad view because of the sun again. I'm going to have to get, you're going to have, I'm going to have to get on the other side of you. Hold on. Yeah, there we go. Alright, it's a start guys. Six inch warm out. He was right by the bank. Real close to the bank. Two foot of water where I was just saying it was too shallow. And then he came out of that log. Big old war mouth. This is the fattest one I've ever caught. Look how fat it is. It, I don't think it's the longest, but it's definitely the biggest around I've ever caught. It's really fat. Uh huh. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. Problem is the sun. Yeah. Well guys, I don't think this is the longest warm mouth I've ever caught, but it's the prettiest and definitely the fattest. Isn't it? That is an absolute, look at that red right there too. Yeah. It's got the red ear flap. Stink. Wait a minute, go that way. It definitely smells like it. Too. Here we go. That place, they don't have sun. No, you still have the, the sun. You need the... Right here. You need to, no, here. I need to be like this. No, you got it backwards. I need to be over here. You need yeah. to be over there. You got sun in your face. I know. The sun needs to be pointed on me. It's not the, against the camera. See? Okay, go ahead. It's dark. That's good. Yeah. It's dark. Too dark. Right here, stand over here. Here. <laughs> I told you. I know what I'm doing. Stand right there. It's dark. I wish I could see it. Let me see something. That's perfect. Guys, what a war mouth. That is a jumbo. They're finally starting to pick up. We've had to sit here and wait and wait for these fish. Well, William, right after you drove away. Put it down a little bit. He is 10 inches though. I just don't think it's 10 and 5 8. Okay. That is a nice one. Where's my ball? God. Wow. What a fish. That's a nice one for sure. Holy mo! I, th I threw it next to a gar. That's what I was trying to catch. All right, guys, just got another war mouth inside the spillway, if that's what you want to call it. It ain't spilling anywhere, but it can, I guess, if it gets high enough above the spillway. Little war mouth, about five inch. All right, pretty little guy though.
Another one. Oh yeah. Oh my. What do I got? Wilma. Oh man, I got something really big. Oh my God. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Yes. Swallowed the hook. Oh man. Oh, I took the bobber off. I took the bobber off. Oh my God. Show me a holding this thing. I can't even put my hands around it. It's that big. Unfortunately, I got to cut the line. God. Not a personal best, but he's damn close. Wow. Um, yeah. Guys, what a bluegill. Big bull male. Put it down. That thing fought so hard. He's about nine and a half, almost ten inches. God. It's hard to hold up. God. It's really big, yeah. <laughs> what a big one. We don't want to keep it all. Cover your face. It's going to die if you don't keep it. Well, I don't have nothing to put in it. Plastic. There are a lot of plastic with it. Put in a plastic. No. Let me see the camera. Guys, what a bluegill that is. My goodness. Almost a pound. Wow. Now that was a nice catch. Whew. All right, guys, welcome to another episode. Today we are exploring new territory. It is basically a river where a bridge has been put in place and they dumped a bunch of riprap in it to hold the bridge in place and it's followed by a set of three rapids. At the end of the third rapid, there's a big giant scour hole. Known to have flathead, bowfin, and buffalo. And we're going to see what else it might contain. This is normally a real slow moving river, almost completely snag stagnant. But right here, it has a good flow. It'll track these fish during hot, hot weather to cool off in these rapids. We have a good feeling we might get something today. We can definitely use that for a rod holder. And maybe over there. So you got that tree in the way is the biggest pain in the ass. William said it never, never goes anywhere. Or else I would have fished over there in the sand. We just set everything up right here. I'm getting me a drink of good old Casey's water. Mm. Anyway, guys, this is this hole right here. The bridge is right up there. There's the first rapid, second rapid. It comes around and it just drops down about five feet in elevation, followed by a big scour hole, big old round hole. We're in a complete 100% shade right here. It's bluebird skies and really hot, upper 80s. So this is an ideal spot. Our worms won't melt. So, maybe, just maybe, I'm gonna start off, I'm gonna try to get a fish on a lure. I'm gonna tie on a little curly tail grub, because you never know. There could be white bass in here, spotted bass. Figure it's worth a try for a few minutes. Before I get my main poles out, I'm gonna set two poles out on the bottom with heavy weight. It might clear up a little. Oh yeah. Yes. Whoa. Crappie guys. Hell yeah. Oh my. Nice little white crappie guys. 
Got him on a three inch chartreuse Berkeley power bait grub with a fire tiger jig head. Not bad. All right guys, hey, that's a promising start. Oh, by the way, it is a full moon. So, I'm excited, I'm, I'm glad I decided to try lures for a minute. There's just a pack of these in there in the pocket and white. That's all that's in there. These and white ones. Yeah. And I only got two spare jig heads, which are in the Mississippi River tackle box. Another one! Big! Oh my God! If I would have known this, I would have brought minnows. I wish I had my phone. Man, he's 13, 12, 13 inches. Look. Oh my gosh. If I would have known this, I would have bought minnows. Holy cow. Well guys, so much for fishing for flathead and bowfin right now anyway. Not after this monster. <laughs> Here. Salt with the rapids in the background. So the rapids. Yeah. Nice crappie, guys. Man, two fish in a row. Yeah. <laughs> He's 12. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, you can stay there. Don't put, put, don't put it back. You can stay there for now. Yeah. But it's not going to die. Well, nice crappie, not, guys. It's not spooking the fish. Stay there, stay there. Stay when you're pulling. She's not going to die. She's on the water. That's a nice one there. Really nice. It's big enough to eat. All right, guys, I got crappie number three. Uh, there was about a 15 minute span there where we didn't get, I didn't get nothing. If I just had my crappie stuff with me, or a bucket of minnows would really help in a bobber. I could probably sit here and catch 50 of these things. Anyway, three crappie, we're on the board. I'm gonna do this a couple more minutes and then I'm gonna get burned out and uh, switch to a uh, worm bottom fish. I'm on yours again. That's a black. Is that a black? Oh my God. Wait till I tell William, he don't even know there's crappie in here. That is, we're measuring that. He's 14 inches. Guys, she just caught a 14 inch crappie on a worm. Oh my God, that's the one that was hitting my grub. I bet you I kept missing him. I, that's why I keep throwing a lure because I felt him. What a crappie, guys. That's the biggest one you've caught this year. Probably. Oh my gosh. We just found a good spot. Yeah. Oh my. Easily 14. Yep. Hold it up one more time for us. That is a nice crappie. Guys, we had a horrible day yesterday. We already did better in 30 minutes than we did the whole day yesterday. Oh my. Yeah, let's get him measured. I'm gonna take. I think it's more I'm gonna take the grub off and put a worm and bobber on, obviously. I'm gonna I'm gonna measure it. Just to be sure. God, what is the deal with the damn branches down here? It looks like somebody threw them. It's a nice crappie regardless of what it's about to measure, guys. It's got to be 13 at a minimum. I'm going to pull him all the way up to 15. Not let me do it. You just hold your fingers on him. 
13 and a half. 14. 14. 14 inch black crappie, guys. Let's get one more good pick of you. Wow, guys. We didn't even come here to fish for crappie. We came to fish for flathead and bowfin. And I was just telling her all the crappie are white. Yeah. Oh my God. You didn't get any that big this year. Not even at the coal mine. Maybe one at the coal mine. Okay. It's a nice crop, you guys. Wow. All right. Okay. Goodness. <laughs> nice surprise anyway, isn't it? Now, I really wish I had minnows and regret not stopping. Oh my God. Yeah, he's a good, that'd be a good one to keep. All right, Wilma's on something big here, guys. I think she may have a gar. Don't reel it in any further. Catfish. She's got a nice channel cat. Real nice. Yeah, that's perfect eating size right there. About a pound. Good job. Not a bad channel, guys. Oh man, I was getting a bite when it was just hanging in the water. Yeah, it's a nice little channel. Hold it up for her. Yeah, you put your fingers behind the fins, and that's all you got to do. You grip it be right behind the fins where he can't get you. Yeah. He's about a pound. Not bad. Oh yeah, not bad at all. All right. Probably a couple. No, it's a channel cat, just real dark. Real weird looking. It's just a small male. Real dark. All right guys, another channel cat with a worm and a no bobber, just right out in front of me. All right. Nice drum, guys. We're getting a good variety. Crappie, catfish, sunfish, and now a drum. That's a really healthy piece, Yeah. <laughs> Not bad. I gotta change my battery soon. Oh, he's not hard. Oh man. Why am I always the fish unhooker guy? I 
Watch out, you're about to hook me. All right, guys, it got cloudy out of nowhere and the fish just shut off. This is all we've caught in a whole two hours. I don't know what happened. Another little channel cat, it's a dark male. Definitely a male. Really dark. Yeah. And other than that, guys, it's been slim pickings. I couldn't catch nothing out on the bottom. Hoping to get a flathead or buffalo. These fish just shut down completely. Why me?